plate not visible, and these big numbers create a distraction. But this is a race course. And obstructing justice! I never knew your sister was so strict. Sometimes DW gets a little carried away. DW blows the whistle. Uh-oh, DW. And don't forget the ABCs of safety. Always be careful. All right, now if everyone would please line up, Officer Safety has something special for each of you. With this safety whistle, I hereby deputize each of you as junior safety officers. I hereby dub you Princess of Safety. And to assist you, great princess, we present you with your very own Safety Pony. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. Don't worry, Officer Safety. You can count on me. Mom, can I take my safety whistle with me when we go see Mary Moo Cow on ice next week? Sure, as long as you don't blow it. <whistles> Mommy, that little boy isn't crossing the street at the intersection. Matthew! <whistles> Oh my goodness, oh my. Thank you so much for blowing that whistle. You may have saved his life. DW, a hero? Ow! Ah! Ouch! I'm a junior safety officer now. How's the car coming? Almost done. It's been designed for maximum speed and calibrated for low wind resistance and surface friction. You call that a car? It looks more like a pile of junk with wheels. Who asked you? Arthur D.W., please. Mom, that car is not safe. It doesn't have any seat belts. What? Ew. I hate to say it, Arthur, but D.W. has a point. It would probably be safer if you put some seat belts in it. But we're almost done. <laughs> She's right. The design probably could benefit from some sort of additional biomechanical restraint system. Better safe than sorry. That's what I always say. Gotta go. I'm heading out on patrol. Oh, no. Look at all those bubbles. Ah! Gloop, 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 gloop. Mom! Dad's cooking dinner over a hot stove. He could get burnt. Dad! Mom's reading a magazine without gloves on. She could get a serious paper cut. Uh... Arthur! Pal just went down the stairs without holding onto the handrail. How can Pal use the handrail? He doesn't even have hands. Hey! Mom! Dad! Arthur is taking a bath without using a personal flotation device. D.W.? DW's turning into a safety monster. Yeah, yesterday she actually told me that long hair is a safety hazard. I got in trouble just for saying hi to her. She said I shouldn't talk to strangers. Just once I'd like to catch her doing something wrong. We could always follow her around and see if she does anything unsafe. Yeah, then we can blow the whistle on her. She's coming out the front door. Wait a minute. I think her shoe's unbuckled. Never mind, she noticed. She's coming your way, Francine. We've got her on visual. Look, she's sniffing on the sidewalk without a helmet. That's not safe. Muffy, you do that all the time. That's true. Look out! Okay, Brain. I think she's coming towards you. I see her. This could be it. She's coming to an intersection. Stand by. What's she doing? Looks like she's stopping. She's coming towards you, Arthur. Ah! I see her. Hey, you guys. This might be it. Hurry. 
Hurry up and bring your whistles! This could be dangerous. Yuck. Hello, DW. Come on in. Nice hat, Arthur. It brings out your eyes. This isn't working. DW has turned into the safest person in Elwood City. Well, at least she isn't going to be at the Ratburn rally tomorrow. That would be terrible. On your mark. Get set. Stop the race! This Ratburn rally is way too dangerous. Remain calm. Call in the authorities to make sure nobody gets hurt. All right. You can go ahead now. This is my kind of race. You too! Slow down! Don't worry, she won't be there! What do you mean you want me to take DW to the race? We'll meet you guys down there. We have to drop Kate off at Grandma Thora's first. Couldn't you get a babysitter or something? She's just gonna blow her whistle at everyone! Am not! Not unless I see someone who's not being safe. You have been getting a little carried away with your whistle, D.W. But I'm just doing what Officer Safety said to do. He didn't mean for you to be a tattletale, D.W. He just wants you to let people know when someone's doing something dangerous. Okay? I guess. Good. Now, tomorrow, Arthur, you will take D.W. to the race, and D.W., you will not bother Arthur. <laughs> What is she doing here? Are you nuts? She'll ruin everything. Mom and Dad made me bring her. Well, if I hear that whistle, she's going to be one sorry little tattletale. Wow, that hill's kind of steep. D.W., just go over there and sit down and stay out of our way. You're not the boss of me, Arthur Reed. I can do whatever I want. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ratburn Rally. It looks like we have quite a few creative cars here today. So, without further ado, let the races begin! Hooray! Will the first two racers please approach the starting line? I can't see. How can I tell if people are safe if I can't see? a talented climber. Uh, what do you say we get you down to safety now? DW, are you all right? You didn't by any chance drop this, did you? My whistle! Be safe now. Hey guys, what's all this commotion about? Oh, some girl got stuck up in the tree. It was no big deal. I hope she's all right. It was me. I was the one in the tree. I knew I shouldn't have climbed that high, but I did. I'm sorry. Oh, D.W., are you okay? Why did you ever do something so dangerous? Well, it was my fault, too. I told her to go away. You both know better. Thank goodness you're all right. Next up, 
Arthur and the Brain versus Muffy and Francie. Uh oh, I'm up. I almost forgot.